Come around about half eleven. OK, cool. See you then. Cheers. Bye-bye. You know, you should let me do that. I know. It is a miracle I didn't starve to death before you moved in. Who's that on the phone? Just a bloke wants some stuff shifting this morning. Brilliant. Yeah, it should clear about 80 quid. Oh, that's great. With me laid off at the factory. Which pays for these flies I've had done. Oh, let's see. Oh. What's up, what's up? Oh, bang the elbow in the shower this morning. It's just a bit painful. Do me to have a look at it? Oh, cos you're an orthopaedic surgeon, aren't you? It's no bother, honestly. It's just a strain. Yeah, but I thought with your condition, these things could turn serious. I'll soon know if it does. Well, I'll take you to hospital if you like. You're better safe than sorry. <laughs> Gary, we stop going on. I'm not a china plate that needs tying up in bubble wrap. I'll be fine. Early. Hey, this is looking great, babe. Thanks. Your elbow's not making it more difficult, is it? I've already told you I'm fine. Well, I just popped in the medical centre and I saw Dr Carter, so I mentioned it. You did what? And as I was talking to him, I booked you an appointment just to be on the safe side. Are you deaf as well as stupid? Just thought it better safe than sorry. And I already told you it was fine. <sighs> you said that you hurt it. I said I'd strained it a bit. Yeah, but it was hurting. I do not need a doctor. <sighs> Who are you calling? I'm not calling anyone. You're ringing the medical centre to cancel that appointment. Look, it's not going to make your elbow any worse if the doctor has a look at it. There's not wrong, so it's not going to make it any better either. Phone! And Dr Carter said that with your Ellis danlos syndrome, it's best to get this kind of thing looked at. Are you even listening to me? Which is exactly what I said. You know, better safe than sorry. Because he was embarrassed. I disagree. Fine. I'm calling him then. Hi, yeah, it's uh, Izzy Armstrong. I'd like to cancel an appointment that's just been made for me. That's right, yeah. Sorry to mess you about. It's just I appear to have a boyfriend who thinks the slightest symptom calls for intensive care. <laughs> yeah, he tends to get things out of proportion. Mountains, molehills, inches, centimetres. Thanks again. Bye. You know, there was no need to slate me to the receptionist. And there's no need for you to meddle. Aren't you supposed to be out there being a man with a van earning us some money? I'm here. Because I'm worried about you. Gary, I've lived on my own long enough. It could be broken. I do not need a doctor. Is this what it's going to be like? Next time I get a dicky tummy, will it be stomach cancer? You're worse than me, Dad. All right, all right. I'm sorry that I care, OK? I'm sorry. Did you cancel that removal job to try and take me to the doctor? I was worried about you. When I'm laid off from the factory, we're short of cash. Like I said, I'm sorry. Oh, go and get me a drink. Oh, don't you just love being idle, Izzy? So we got to this party or not? If you like. You know, being home, it's got me thinking. There's so much more I could be doing with my life. I should be doing. Like what? Going to art school. <laughs> You're not serious? Art was my best subject at school. Yeah, and football was mine, but I'm still waiting for Man City to send a limo. You saw those drawings I did. You said they were good. What did you not mean it? Look, babe, what is this? Just bored with my life. Yeah, and bored with me as well. Typical. What? I'm talking about me, what I want. And all you can think about is yourself. I'm gonna... You know why I do that job in the factory? Why? Because of that. I thought for someone like me, any job would be an achievement. Yeah, and it is. No, it isn't. I could do better and should have done. Yeah, whatever. Look, are we going to this party or not? No. Uh, is is he on the way out? Oh, Julie, is he such a gentleman waiting for his girlfriend after work? Oh, a modern day Sir Walter Raleigh laying down his metaphorical cloak. Is she on the way out or not? You just missed her, love. She said something about meeting a mate. Did she say where she was going? Sorry, love. Oh, it'd be so lovely having a <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'd be great to see everyone again. Yeah, well, you better wear your beer goggles, cos it's gonna be a big night. We are closing. Yeah, we gathered from the exaggerated banging about the furniture. Five minutes and I've got my eye on you. Thanks, Sylvia. Where have you been? Uh, manners. This is Will. Good night, mate. You must be Gary. All right. 
I was waiting for you at the factory. I've been looking everywhere. Oh, sorry, phone died. Lost track of time gossiping. We are closed. One minute and counting. I can take a hint. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, see you, Will. Will you wind your neck in? He's an old mate from Fresh Coast. Booked into him earlier. Right. Come on. I'll buy you a pint. Post a thing. You know, my girlfriend goes AWOL and I find her in the cafe with a random bloke. Uh, A, I went to the cafe for a coffee because I bumped into Will, who B, in a random bloke. I worked with him for like two years. And C, AWOL. I was worried. How about I get myself tagged? that help? Look, I'm not having a go. All I'm saying is it'd be nice to know what your plans are. Fair enough. Tomorrow night, I'll be going to town with Will and the Fresh Go lot to get trolled. Happy. Hello? Oh, Will, are you? Extra sausage. So? Sounds great. It's okay to make Will tonight, isn't it? Well, I quite fancied the pictures. Mm, we can do that another night. How about in the Rovers? Yeah, see you then. Bye. <sighs> gonna meet Will for drink in the Rovers, then we're gonna meet everyone else from fresh school. Oh, that's nice for you. All your old mates. Exactly. Hey, you can come round to us for tea. I'll make you Thai chicken curry. No, there's no need. Don't be daft, always banging on about your mum's curry's better than any restaurant. All right, fine then. Fine then. Oh, Faye, I'll be dead chuffed. She loves it when you come round. Mum. Oh, hey, how are you, love? I've got all the stuff for the curry and I've got some cheesecake and some ice cream. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I was just on my way to tell you that I can't make it. Oh. Remember Nicky Mack, that scouser I was on basic training with? What about him? Yeah, well, he's got to go back to Afghanistan to do another tour, so I said I'd meet him for a drink. Oh, well. And this is last night. Listen, it can't be out. It's another night. Yeah, me and Izzy will both come. Okay. <laughs> Hiya, babe. All right, Will. All right, mate. You'll be in trouble with Anna if you need for your tea. Uh, Mum's had to cancel because um, Faye's come home from school ill, so just thought I'd come for a quiet drink. Well, we're just about to meet the fresh girls, aren't we, babe? Come along if you like. No, it's fine. Just thought I'd let you know why I was here. Have a good night. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, we best get a wiggle on you now, aren't we? She's Jessica again. I think we're safe from her tannery announcements here. I won't bank on it. Never underestimate the power of a deranged assistant manager. That woman freaks me out. What can I say? Jess cares. Well, if she says the words, I totally empathise. Even once, it is going to kick off. So, are you guys heading out? Well, you best ask Miss Chippy over here. You are cruising for a bruising. Well, I thought I might tag along. Gary, it's a fresh go reunion. We'll literally be talking shop. So? So, you'll be bored. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Well, you know what I mean. Well, I'll be on my jacks otherwise. Come on. Might be a laugh. Yeah, have a heart. Besides, he's an injured former soldier. Jess will be in it. Fine. But don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you know, there's an offer around the corner. I could get us a few beers. Thought you had a splitting headache. I do. It's just I don't want you to lose the party mood, do I? What party moves? We abandoned Will before it even started. Yeah, and he was cool with it. Will's cool with everything. <sighs> Look, I get that he's a mate, you know. Who I ain't seen in yonks. Oh, great. Jess thinks we left because of her. She's blubbing into her almost dip as we speak. Your friends are weird. What, in a good way? Will hopes you feel better. Oh, great, they're breaking out the karaoke. Can't believe I'm missing this. Didn't know you like karaoke. With my voice, it's not something you advertise. Well, we should do it together. Me and you? Yeah, and a couple of decent bars. Are you serious? 100%. It could be our thing, you know. I've got my timber lake down cold. OK, when? Whenever you want. I'm going to hold you to that. Bring it on. Now, what about those beers? They're on an engine and I'm yours. Way ahead of you there. Okay, Cake rum? Yep. Should get something for our tea. Thought I might do egg and chips. Oh, lovely. Though I'll be a bit late in tonight. You do another time? No, I said I'd go for a drink with some girls from the old work later. All oh, right. Well, uh, we'll think you'd be there, Will. No. Only I'm doing egg and chips with mint sauce. You love mint sauce. Oh, just do it an hour later. I'm only going to be an hour, Gary. Yvonne split with Dodgy Wads, so she just needs some Dutch courage before she goes around to get her iPod back off. Right, well, just 
so I just want to leave the pub, yeah? Yeah, all right. You're as bad as me, Dad. been ages. I've been an hour, Gary. Said it'd be an hour and I was. You all right? Of course, yeah. You know me. I just hate cooking when I get it over and done with. No. So I was thinking I was, I was Yvonne. Gutted. She found out he's been seen a professional saxophonist behind her back. Really taking the wind out of her sails. Right. Well, egg and chips do you? With mint sauce. Of course. I call the staff from a company that's moving offices at the weekend. Because right. they're uh, regular blocks, let them down. It's good money as well. Brilliant. Just means I'm busy most of the weekend. Actually, that's not a problem. Will and some others are going to this gig in Liverpool tomorrow night. I might go with them as soon as you're working. It's only during the day, you know, I'll be home at night. Yeah, but you'd be knackered and wanting beer in bed, and all you. Yeah, beer, bed, and you. We have to be all at the same time. Well, I'm waiting to hear off Will, so let's see, eh? Cheers. Oh, I thought Will had been back in touch. Yeah, well, he probably couldn't get an extra ticket. Still. Cheers. Cheers. Shall I get us a DVD? No, Ta. Not after last time. 127 hours is not my idea of a rom com. <laughs> Wonder what's wrong at the cinema. Oh, it's a bit late now. Maybe tomorrow? I'm not supposed to be at that gig with Will in Liverpool. But he's not been in touch. Mm. Can't be happening then. Well, he said to let me know either way. I'm going to give him a ring. I'll get tea started, yeah? Well, you know what you're like. I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. <laughs> that Will's been ringing non-stop. I can't even call him. His number's in my phone. Just means you'll have to make do with me this weekend. You don't know that. I was just looking forward to laughing at my mates, that's all. Oh, you understand? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You know, I know how important friends are. Of course. I know you still miss him. I miss all the lads. Hey, and it's Armed Forces Day tomorrow, so I think they're doing something down at the Legion. Well, why don't we go over when you finish work? Yeah. Cheers, babe. Mm. I'll get it. Hi, yeah. All right, mate. Uh, is Izzy in? Um, no, sorry, she's out with some pals from work. All oh, right. Um, only I've left her a message, but she hasn't got back to me. I need to know if she's going to Liverpool tomorrow. Um, if not, someone else can take a ticket. Look, I've got no idea what her plans are, pal, but I'll tell you called, yeah? Anyway. Who was it? Ah, uh, just some god as I sent them packing. Uh, you weren't too sharp with them. Ah, oh, they'll forgive me. They've got to. And there she changes. Ah, there you are. You'll oh, never guess what's going on. Such a lovely weekend. I really needed that. Especially after Will let us down over Liverpool. Yeah, well, who needs Liverpool, eh? <laughs> Not me. So, Mum, what can't you tell me on the phone? Well, I've had a bit of good news, actually. Dad, he's doing me head in. Well, what's he done now? Just because Ches has gone away for one night. He's on my back every minute of the day. I can't help every morning sitting there. Oh, yeah? Oh, they can stay. They can stay, even though I'm on my own. Hey, that's great news, Mum. Oh, well done. Yeah, the adoption agency phoned first thing this morning. Well, why didn't you say before? Because I didn't get a chance. But you can all come round tonight for your tea to celebrate. Congratulations, love. Oh, hey, you and all. For your tea, of course. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I want to. Can't have your girls and not have you. I want to. OK, that's a date. Well, well not a date, you know, a, a date in the diary. I'll see you later. Get a nice bottle of wine, eh? Kiss. 
Mwah. Let's get back to work. Not in a minute, eh? It's big news, this. Hang on. Well, I was really worried, but they said Faye's really happy, so once we've been to court and it becomes legal, then I can become a mum. Hey! Is it? Well? Well, yeah, could ask you the same question. Look, have I done something to upset you because you've been, like, completely ignoring me? You've been ignoring me? I texted you. I didn't get any texts. And I came round your house on Friday. Gary says you were out. Did you not get the message? No, no I, I didn't. Sorry, is I waited as long as I could, but I had to give you a ticket to Shania. Y yeah, no worries. Sorry, I didn't get your message. So what's going on? I don't know. But trust me, I'm going to find out. I don't know why you wanted to come back here. I thought we could have met at Mum's. Do you know what? I am really cheesed off him, Will. I mean, what's he doing? I thought he was a mate. He said he'd call, then nothing. Yeah, well, maybe he lost his phone. Who knows? Anyway, I got a bottle of wine and some cans for me and your dad. Yeah, but he knows where I live. He could have called round. Unless he don't care. Hey, if he can't be bothered, he's not much of a friend, is he? Except he could be bothered. Or at least that's what he told me when I bumped into him earlier. Said he came round here Friday night, but you told him I was out. <laughs> so my question is, who's lying, him or you? God, look, it's no big deal are we going or not. What do you mean, no big deal? Hang on a minute, Gary, you lied to me twice. Twice? First when Will came round, you never said out. Because I forgot, I've just told you. And again today, when I told you what he said, you kept stumped. God, it's like being interrogated by the cops. Are you trying to catch me out? Look, somebody came round, I forgot to tell you, nobody died. What do you mean you forgot? I was here, in the flat. You answered the door, and by the time it took you to walk back in here, you forgot who you just answered the door to. The guy's an idiot. Oh, so you do remember answering the door? Yes, officer. Yes. But you just chose not to tell me who it was and what they wanted. Do you make an habit out of not telling me stuff, Gary? What's that supposed to mean? He's freaky, this, the way you're acting. Oh, this is stupid. I'm going to my mum's. Are you coming or not? Don't you think we should sit down and oh, talk about right. this? that's right. Just blow it up. Way out of proportion. Make me out to be a flaming nut job. I'm the one who should be angry. Don't you no, 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 I'm done. Twisted. I'm done. Hey, you give me skin. I hate skin. We'll just leave it on your plate. Hey, love. Right, no, Izzy. Didn't want to come. Why not? Don't ask me. Do you know what? I really don't think I can face it. Who you are? Why? Not like Izzy. It's just not turn up. Do I keep hers one? I place? don't know. Do I? What are you two in a row then? Oh, I think you've hit the nail on the head. Hey, hey. I'm full. Me too. I'm not hungry either. <clears throat> Well, isn't this nice? Yes. So, I texted Izzy, no reply. Oh, well, if they've had a row. I don't care. It's rude just to not to show up. <sighs> don't make a fuss, Owen. I don't mind. Oh. I do. I brought them up with manners. Well, I wish someone had taught Faye a few manners. Yeah, I didn't like to say. Well, I've got to cut her a bit of slack with what she's been through, but sometimes a bit of consideration. I'm going to worry Gary. Oh, no, Owen, no, don't. don't worry. That'd be diplomatic, huh? Gary, mate. Oh, would you? Ah. So, uh, what's kicking off between you and her is? Look, she can be a right pain in the backside. Nobody knows that better than me. You know, I think I prefer it when you're on my back. It kind of freaks me out when you try and be all pally. But why don't you, why don't you just go around there, eh? Try and patch things up. Gary. I tried. Is he? Sit down. So tell me, what's going on? Bearing in mind, if I think you're holding back or lying again, we're finished. I mean it, Gary. I need a massive dollop of honesty before I can even contemplate a future with you. Is that serious? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. I feel so stupid. So you should. I was jealous. Of Will? I know, I've got nothing to base it on, but you know what it's like when you get an idea in your head. And when did you get this stupid idea into your head? I don't know, a while back. Then you were on about going to Liverpool with him while I was at work. I should be flattered, I suppose, but I'm not, to be honest. It scares me. And then that text came through on your phone. I didn't even mean to read it. But you did. And when I saw it was from him, I thought, if I delete it, 
then it'll just be us like it ended up and we had a great weekend. But there's a bit in the middle though, isn't there, where you lie about Will coming round. Why didn't you just say I'd rather you didn't go? You never know, I might have said yes. I should have. For the record, I absolutely do not fancy Will. I don't know what I've done to give you that impression. Nothing. Nothing, it's just... <laughs> I worry about you when you're not here. I get scared that something's going to happen to you. It sounds stupid, I know, but I will never, ever do anything like this again. I swear to you. Is he? Look, I don't blame you for being hacked off of me. Babe, what can I say? I'm a total pillock. To your right. I just didn't realise you were that jealous, that's all. I'm not. Well, not usually. And I know I sound a bit boring, I know I sound a bit sad, but I like it best when it's just me and you. So do I, but we need other people and all, mates. So you're going to be watching me all the time? Seeing where I am, who I'm talking to? No. Every man a threat? It's not like that. Take too long in the cabin, picking a magazine, you'll accuse me of doing a Terminoris. Oh, you've got to admit, he does look pretty hot in them tank tops. I made up my mind a long time ago, nothing is going to stop me living my life. Nothing and no one. You look a bit perky today. Uh, what are you on about? I don't do perky. So you two made up then? Yeah. Oh, but I am glad. So? So what? So were you in his in? You just can't keep your neb out, can you? Nose disease. Hey, you don't talk to your mother like that. I gave you life. Look, if you must know, all right, it was my fault. God, a wind-ass man admitting he's wrong. I must be hearing things. Yeah, I was just been a right pain, you know, jealous and that. Oh, bless you. Ma'am. So sweet. Ooh, I wish a man had cared enough about me to be that jealous. Yeah. Yeah, I tried calling, but she's not answering, huh? Go and meet her from work, make sure she's still coming. Fine, nice one. Well, that's for the adults. I've had wine loads of times. Well, not this time. <laughs> Don't know why you're going through all this effort, ma'am. It's just my way of saying thank you. You have to admit, Owen's done us a real favour. It's funny that, because I never even down as the caring, sharing type. What do you mean? Well, isn't it all a bit weird, this him just buying the house like that? No, he's a businessman. What's weird about it? Do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, it depends. I'm busy. How many letters has it got? Look, he's a man on his own. And you're a, well, you're my man, but you're still a, a, a woman. <laughs> and now that Dad's out of the way, maybe he fancies having a pop. Having a pop? You know what I mean. Uh, yes, I do, and I don't want any more of that talk, thank you. I'm worried about you. Well, don't. He's our landlord, Gary, that's it. All right. Understand? All right. Good. Now, come on, let me get this one away before it starts going off. Do you know if Izzy will be long? She's already gone. When? A couple of hours ago. And when'd she go? Well, that's what I'd like to know, seeing as we're so short-staffed. Oh, yeah? How short-staffed? Well, I am practically running that place single-handedly. Not that I get any thanks for it. Bye, Sally. Bye, Mr Foster. Have a nice holiday. Oh, we'll try. Excuse me, mate. You've got a sec. Thank you as well. you got good at helping there. <laughs> Get the fiver for it. Uh, you are not. Quit then. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Cheers, love. Sorry I missed your calls. I had my phone on silent. Just wonder where you got to. Oh, I went to the doctor's. I had to renew my prescription. You OK? Fine. You? Yeah, I've got some good news as it happens. Oh, great. What is it? I'll tell you later. It's sort of a surprise. I don't worry for you. <laughs> Hiya. We're not late, are we? Oh, no, come on, I'm just dishing it up now. Grab a seat, everyone. <sighs> How was Fizz? Uh, she's OK. Not great. Still not changed her mind about having the baby with her, then? No, but you can tell she misses her life, Mad. All right, makes you realise how lucky you are to have your family around you, doesn't it? Come on. Yeah, it's really weird feeling this thing poking out, not knowing if it's an arm or a leg. Or something else. <laughs> what else could it be? <laughs> See what you've done now. Hey, you still haven't told us if you're going to find out what you're having. Um, no, I think I'm going to keep it a surprise. Oh, believe me, it's going to be that all right. <laughs> that reminds me, what's that news you said you had for us? Well, I'll tell you later on. Tell me now? No. Mm -hmm. I'd tell you if I was you, it's easier. <laughs> well, before things start getting too ugly, I think I'm going to have to get off, love. Oh, you're leaving already? Yeah, I've got a really early start tomorrow, but once again, thanks for the meal. It was fantastic. <laughs> well, let me see you out at least. See you, Dad. See you. See you later. Hi. See you. <laughs> so, I'll, um... I'll see you soon. So what is this surprise? Wouldn't be a surprise if I told you. You said you'd tell me this morning. You'll just have to wait for a little bit longer. Have you bought me something? 
Well, what would you like? Have you booked us an holiday? Hang on. Right. Let me write this down. What? Izzy Armstrong's wish list. <laughs> Stop playing games. Is it some of the flat? It is, isn't it? Is it a new telly? You're not going to get it out of me. Fine. See you back here. Here, you've gone ten minutes without asking what the surprise is. What's the point? You're not going to tell me anyway. You don't have to walk me to work, you know. I don't mind. Haven't you got a job this morning? Yep. So why aren't you doing it? I will be in a minute. What? You are being weird. I'll see you later then, yeah? Morning, Isabel. Uh, hey, did you ever read that book? What's that noise? By Isabel ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Kurt, one of these days I'll die laughing at your jokes. It's not that funny. You all right, is he? Gary is being so peculiar. Why? He keeps saying he's got a surprise for me and then he won't tell me what it is. Oh, I love surprises, me. No, I don't. What are you doing in here? Morning, Gary. You made it, then. Yep. Well, if you'd like to follow me, Kirk, I'll show you what you'll be doing. You've not got a job here. Gary is our new man in packing, everybody. Oh, nice one. What, permanent? Surprise, surprise. Oh. You're short. Oh, isn't this lovely for you, Izzy, working under the same roof as Gary? Yeah. Ah, oh, it's sweet. Every time you need a boost, you can just gaze across the shop floor at your beloved. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Oh, that meeting of the eyes, that sudden thrill. What would be like when the cake order arrives? Ooh. Only times ten. Then, when you've had your love batteries recharged, oh, you can go back to sewing your gossips with gay abandon. Oh, Gary, we were just saying, it must be so lovely you and Izzy working together. Yeah, it's cool. Have these been through quality control yet? I don't know. Ask Kirk or Sally. They were over in that corner. Like I said, I don't know. It's not my department. All right, all right. Have they got a lot of green stickers on the labels? Uh, yeah. And they've been passed. Do you want me to take your packing room now? Wouldn't be a bad idea. Come on, then. How romantic is that? Oh, I bet you've got butterflies, haven't you? <laughs> it's about Sally running the place. Well, you know what? I don't think she's doing too bad a job so far. Yeah, I'm surprised. What I've always found is, once somebody's elevated to, you know, a top position, they become much less of a pain. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like they don't need to prove a point anymore. Exactly. No more seconding commandite, as I call it. Mm, be right. I suppose she's a bit better this morning. Hiya. Yeah. I've been looking all over for you. Don't sit here, Gary. Yeah, cheers. There's no need. No, it's all right. I thought you'd have waited for me. Oh, are you finishing up that job? Well, I've only been five minutes. So do you come here every day? No, we like to ring the changes. And where are you going tomorrow? I don't know. Oh, you just can't bear to be apart from me, can you, Gary? And what's wrong with that, eh? <sighs> so are you pleased with your surprise? Don't you mean shock? Why, what's up? We spend enough time together as it is without working under the same roof and all. I thought you'd be happy. I wish you'd told me. But I'm your boyfriend. Yeah, and I love spending time with you. Don't mean we have to live in each other's pockets every minute of the day. You need a break sometimes. No, I don't need a break. Then you're weird. Thanks. Gary, Izzy, back to work, please. Don't want you being a bad influence on him. So much for Sally's new enlightened attitude. Oh, yeah, that didn't last very long. Well, what did you expect? Oh, darling, don't take it to heart. It's not her, it's Gary. Oh, I thought you'd like him working here. Well, that was the one place I could get away from him. Is he not going too good? No, it's fine. He's just a bit suffocating sometimes, that's all. What you can do, then? Not what you can do, is the... Uh... Right, so I'll give the job up and I won't go in. So if you can just tell him... I don't know, I'll tell him what you want. But I won't be working there anymore. Because you don't want me to. Yeah, OK. And... So what if it means I don't have a job? Well, we've managed till now. We have. So you're happy now? Yeah. Good. Because that's all that matters. Mwah. And I'll get another job. Eventually. I just wish you'd told me and then we could have talked about it. I know, I should have. Then it wouldn't have been such a shock. I know. But you didn't and now I don't want you giving it up just for me because then you'll feel badly done to and I'll feel guilty. So, what do you want? I want to be able to turn the clock back, but I can't, so... Just leave things as you are, I'm sure I'll get used to the idea. And what is it? Is it that you don't want me talking to you while we're at work, or...? 
No. Just tell me. I want us to stop being like this, to stop having to keep apologising to each other. But you don't mind me working there? I will if you keep asking me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that I'm apologising again. Right, I'll just shift this lot, yeah? Free samples. What are you on about? Knickers and stuff. Working in there, bet you could get me loads of freebies and nobody would ever know. Yeah, but if they did, I'd lose my job and my girlfriend. No chance. Scared, are you? No, just not as daft as you seem to think I am. No, couldn't be. Sorry, Izzy, but this is just not good enough. Why not? Seems real crooked. And is that you saying that as Carla run from room? Well, whoever's saying it, what difference does it make? Carla's my boss, you aren't. I'm the acting supervisor. Oh, so it is just you saying it. Sounds that way to me. Do you mind? This has got nothing to do with you. Oh, come on, Sammy. We're all on the All with you. I want these redone. I shall be looking at all your work today. There's no wrong with them. And I'm saying there is. And I'm saying who do you think you are? I'm the supervisor. Acting. And I'm doing my job, which is to supervise your work, which, if I might add, is a bit on the shoddy side. Whoa, now, now. Sally! So, even before you were supervisor, you've been inspecting my work, have you? Not inspecting, I just couldn't help notice it. Yeah, and I couldn't help noticing you think you're better than everybody else. Don't matter whether you supervisor or chief washer up. Uh, what's, what's going on? Nothing. Oh, so your boyfriend's going to give us his opinion now, is he? Is she having a go at you? Let's leave it, Gary. It's not to do with you. Yeah, well, that's something we agree on. Oh, look, if someone's having a go at you. Do not just go away. Oh, don't worry, Gary. It happens all the time. We all love each other, really. I said. Okay. okay. That's another thing I should be speaking to Mrs. Connor about. What? That people who are married or partners shouldn't be working together. Personal relationships shouldn't be brought down on the shop floor. Oh, right. Nobody could accuse you of that, could they, Sally? Thank you, Sean. Right, I want these done again and I shall be looking at everything else you do today. Ignore her. Yeah, like we all do. It's not her that's the problem. So... Meet here about seven and then we'll mosey on into town. Mm, but, but I'm not going clubbing all night. Oh, no. Besides, if we did, my Marcus have something to say about that. Can I call? Yeah. About. Oh, tell him. I'll say I'm going to Arcades. <gasps> what if you find out? I won't. Anyway, I need a bit of time away from him before I go mad. So, should we say in here at seven? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm coming. I'll need to go to packing and be boxed up. Gary! And you're not here to chat to your girlfriend, so just ignore it and do as I ask, please. What's up, babe? Hey, did you hear what I said? I'm going to go around to our caters tonight. All oh, right. So I thought I'd let you know in case you want to go out your mates. Yeah, cheers. Sorry, Sal, I'll take these through now. Do you know what? I'm going to have a word with Mrs Connor and suggest that we shouldn't employ couples, because you've just proved my point. You've spent all your time talking together. It'd be interesting to know what Mrs Connor says, wouldn't it? What with her having a partner working here? Yeah, now, let me see. There was Liam, and then there was Tony, and then there was Trevor the bin man. Yeah, I mean, there is a danger, Sal. She might think you're getting at her. Mmm, yeah, be careful. Oh, just get on with your work. Right, I'm going to have a shower and get changed. Well, hang on a sec. What? How can we, shall I? To our Katie's, to talk about what it's like being pregnant and all the things my dad's been saying. And a whole load of other boring stuff. Well, you two can talk and I'll just watch telly. It won't be the same, though. Why not? Well, come on, Gary. She's my kid's sister and she wants the two of us to have a good gossip on her own. If you're there, she'll clam up. I know she will. Well, I'll come with you. But then I'll pop across and see Mum. And afterwards, we'll go for a drink, yeah? I might not want a drink after. Then we'll just come back here instead. <gasps> She's here. Oh, great. I thought you'd gone. You were seriously thinking about it. Gary decided you want to come with me. I had a premonition. What did she say? Well, he thinks I'm going to Katie, so I had to try and convince me to be bored to death or that. Yeah? But then he was still saying he wanted to come with me. Oh, no. But finally, I persuaded him that Katie won't want him there. So he said, OK, he'll stay home and watch the telly. And I was out of there like a shot. Oh, you see, now I wouldn't dare do that. Well, she's got a lot of nerve as this one. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. But can we go now, straight away, please, before anyone sees me there and tells him? Of course we can. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Put that chair into top gear. Look there, told you. Oh, terrific. Sorry about this. I know I'm wasting time. Only I came out that fast and realised I've got my money. Ah, well, that'll teach you not to tell lies. Probably 
no. <laughs> Hang on, we'll be a minute. You want in this? Yeah, but you were the first one. Oh, no, no, no. You go, I'm in no rush. Oh, well, cheers. Hiya. Is he with you? Is he? No. Are you joking me, yeah? She isn't. Mind if I have a look? Gary? She hiding from me? Of course she isn't. She's not here. She said that she was coming round. That you'd asked her to. No, I've not even spoken to her today. What are you doing? Cheers, darling. Get off! That's my Get off! No! Oh, I get off! Oh, hey! No! 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 Oh my God, is it? Are you okay? Sean, help us in the chair. Oh. Run, scumbag! That's fifty quid he had. I'm phoning an ambulance. I don't need an ambulance. Julie, I said I'm fine. It's I don't need an ambulance. Will you hang up? No, but darling, Izzy, your face, it's bleeding. Look, honest, I'm fine. Please, I just won't go home. Hi, love. I'm going to buy you a drink. Oh, cheers, yeah. Um, white wine would be lovely, please. Stella, uh, white wine and another one in there, please, love. Right. Has uh, Izzy been here? Not seen her. Why? Uh, she's going to Katie's, but I thought she might have popped in for him with the factory lot before. How's Faye? Yeah, she's good, Ta. She's having a sleepover with her friends from school. Oh, it's a lovely chase. It's a lovely school, you know, his bestie street. She seems to be really settling in. Do you want a pint or are you uh, waiting for someone, mate? Uh, yeah, a, a pint would be great. Cheers. Oh. Are you sure you're all out? You've got no nausea, no dizziness? Oh, Mark, at the matron. Listen, is it? I still think we should pop past A&E. Since when has anyone ever popped past a and &E? I don't want to sit on plastic chairs surrounded by drunks for four hours. You guys go out. Gary's at home. I'll be fine. I'm not in the mood now. And what are you going to tell your Gary? Because as far as he's concerned, you were around at Katie's. Come on, little Gary. Look, I'll drop you home and I'll meet you at the Rovers later, yeah? There's no need. There is every need. Now, Tom. <laughs> right, Sean. Gary. What's wrong, love? Um, Have you seen Izzy? She's at home, but she, she was on the way home. I thought you said she was at Katie's. What's wrong? What's happened? We went into town and she got mugged. Mugged? Well, robbed. Um, her chair went over and... Oh, my God. Is she all right? She banged her head a little bit. Hang on, is she home now? All right, come on, you. I hate to do this to you, Doc, but we need you. What's happened? Izzy's been attacked. Uh, why didn't you take her to hospital? She said she was fine. Julie's with us. She, she said she was fine. Oh, come on, let's have a drink. Oh, it's Sean again. Well, it stopped bleeding anyway. I'm more bothered about my chair and the 50 quid that robbing little tour rag had. Off you go. What is it? What are you just have to come clean, yeah? Play it down, OK? Is it you OK? What happened? What, Dr Carter? You should be an A&E, love. Well, I did say... What are you all doing here? Well, Sean said that you'd been attacked. Why didn't you pick up? Oh, my phone's been switched off. Right, can you tell me what happened, Izzy? She was mugged. That cut looks nasty, Doctor. It's nothing. Shall I make everyone a brew? A brew? What are you even doing here? That's enough! This is exactly why I didn't want everyone knowing. I've been robbed, I've bumped my head, I don't need all How this. How do you know? You're the big expert on head injuries all of a sudden, are you? I'm an expert on hospitals. You should know that better than anyone. The amount of time I've spent in them waiting rooms, wheeled down to x-ray, being prodded and poked. I just wanted to come back to me own home and forget all about tonight. I should probably get off. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you all should. Look, I've told you I'm fine. You can frown all you like, my love. But I'm not going until he's had a look at your head. I'll make sure the doctor looks at her. There's no need for you to stay. It's best off you'll get. You phone me as soon as he's done, all right? Yeah, of course. What I don't get is why you were in town anyway. You said that you were a kid. I'm talking about that later, yeah? How about that brew? 
I can only... She you. seems fine. Yeah. If you can try and get her to A&E over the weekend. Yeah, I'll give it a go, but she's just not one to be told. Yeah, I know. Well, she can pop into the medical centre on Monday if she likes, but if you notice any headaches or dizziness... Then I'll take her straight in. Listen, Doc, thanks. Be all you want. Didn't you just say that you wanted to go out with him? What? And you'd have just waved us off with a cheery, have a good time? You'd have insisted on coming along. And what's wrong with that? You're my girlfriend. We live together. And work together. Leave the house together. Have our dinner together. Yeah. Every but... time I want to do some on my own, it involves these endless negotiations. It's doing me head in. I go to the loo at work. I expect you to be waiting outside when I'm done. So it's easy to lie? Yeah, it is. And look what happens. What? I wouldn't have got robbed if you'd have been there. Because I would have been with you the whole time. But that's just it. I don't want a bodyguard, somebody looking over my shoulder every minute of the day. I feel like I've spent the last few years of my life trying to get my dad to understand that. And now you're doing the same. It's because I love you. No, you do. And my dad does too, but I can't live like that. Suffocated, spoon-fed. Do you know what? I'm glad I was robbed tonight. You are? Because I'm all right. I handled it. Till you lot came charging round like an angry posse in a western. You could have been hurt. Worse. So could anybody. I'm no safer, no more in danger than anyone else just because I'm in that chair. Look at Quinny, boxer, hard man, fit as anything. He was a soldier. He knew the risks. Bad stuff can happen anywhere. Even on the high street, you don't have to be at war. You can't protect me from life, even if you could. What kind of life would that be for either of us? What I don't get... Is what Sean was doing. Gary, stop it, please. Leave it. It's over. I'm sorry I lied to you about where I was. But at least now it's out in the open, eh? Maybe we can move on. I might get some fish and chips. I've not eaten. Good idea. I'm starving myself. Are we okay? Yeah. We'll talk some more when I get back. Around first in the morning. No arguments. Yeah, night, love. So she's all right, is she? Yeah, give me a little scare, though. You know, I don't know which one of them girls is going to give me grey hairs first. Oh, I know the feeling, believe me. So Lizzie's all right, then, is she? Yeah, she just takes a fuss, that's all. I got her settled at her place, nice and quiet, and our resident drama queen is as the cavalry round. Don't blame me. I walk in here and Gary asks me if I know where Izzy is. What was I supposed to do? 540, please. What the hell do you two think you were playing at? Eh? Oh, God, here come them grey hairs. Scheming with Izzy behind my back, making her lie about going into town. Can you back off, please? We're as shaken up about what happened tonight as you are. No, 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 I doubt that. All right, Gary, I know you're upset. No, Mum. Hey, we are not going to take the blame for this. Look, if Izzy has to lie to you because she wants a night out with her mates, well, then that's your lookout, not ours. No, I know what you like. Filling her head with all sorts. She's a grown woman. She can make her own decisions. Exactly. And for your information, she has to come out with us. So if you are so insecure... And <laughs> Come on, say it again! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think you're doing? Uh, you left now! Gary, leave off him! I want him out! You monster! How could you do that to Sean? He has been nothing but concerned for Izzy! Because he's lied to me! And he's got my girlfriend hurt now, you two stay away from her! Do you understand me? Come and sit down. Look. I said I want him out! I'm sorry. Just sorry. get out, you nasty little bully! Just let him calm down, love. He's had a shock tonight, all right? He's had a shock. Have you seen poor Sean's face? The uh, place around the corner was shut, so I had to go to the one by the roundabout. You okay? You still look a bit shaken up. Yeah, I'm fine. Just frightened about what could have happened to you tonight. Are you sure you're okay? Come here, you daft thing. I got robbed, that's all. Could have happened to anybody. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you ever again. Not ever. You could 
going to take my chair in then? Well, it won't be open yet, will it? Oh, I know the guy who runs it. He's always there early. Oh, I could give him a call, get him to open up special. Just relax, will you? Right, what do you want for breakfast? Uh, we've got some Cheerios, or I think there's one crumpet left. Oh, I best phone work. Well, no, I'll do that in a bit. Well, use Sally's number. Don't make a big deal out of it. Tell her I'm fine. But you're not fine, are you? You've been mugged and you were up all night reliving it. No, I wasn't. I was up all night listening to you, gnashing your teeth and swearing to yourself. Because I couldn't stop thinking about how much worse it could have been. But it won. I survived. I'm sorry I lied to you, Gary, but you're all over me. I might as well be tagged. I just wanted to go out once on my own without you monitoring me every move. Yeah, and look what happened. The only thing that's broke's my chair. It's done with. Nothing else to say. Or is there? No. No, there's nothing else to say. She's all right about it. What could she say? She might wonder why you weren't going in. I said that was looking after you. I don't need looking after. I'm not giving you a choice. Oh, come on, Gary, that's lame. Caring is lame. So now that's done, you're going to take my chair in? Oh, chair this, chair that. If you really want to help me, if you really want her, that's the only thing I'm bothered about right now. Well, can I not get dressed and have a shave first? Since when were you bothered about shaving before you left the house? Uh, I'll have you know that this takes a decent amount of maintenance. Well, hurry up. Else I'm liable to get vicious. Hmm. Now you're talking. Mwah. And you're still without your chair. Yeah, Gary's taken it in. I used to have a spare, but it died ages ago. How long will it take him to fix it? They're normally pretty good, so you should do it there and then. And how are you feeling? Yeah, let me stick the kettle on. I bet you're still shaking up, aren't you? I know Sean is, but the good news is I don't think he's going to press charges. Against who? Eh? Why would Sean press charges against the bloke who attacked me? Against Gary. What? <sighs> he hasn't told you, has he? Told me what? I don't believe it. And have you not spoken to Sean? Not this morning, no. Why? What's happened? Last night, Gary charged into the Rovers and belted Sean. Shut up. In front of everyone. He's blamed Sean for what happened. You're not joking, are you? I wish I was. Obviously didn't want to admit it. But he knew I'd find out. It was a moment of madness. He'll be embarrassed and ashamed. I better phone Sean. Would you pass us my mobile? Oh, you'll see him soon enough. I'd let it blow over. Blow over? My boyfriend smacked me mate for no good reason and you don't think I should phone him to apologise? Well, it's Gary that wants to be apologising. <laughs> well, that's going to happen. Well, from what I can tell, Sean's prepared to put the whole thing to bed. Extenuating circumstances. Sean meant to it too, you know. It was very frightening. I'm sure it was. I remember when I got mugged outside Victoria Station. My aunt were pounding for a month. The only reason I didn't tell him where I was going last night was so he didn't pop up out of the blue, wanting to hold me caught, wanting to walk me home. Did you know he'd been screening my calls? No. My mate Will from Fresh Goes. Look, he's been through a very traumatic experience. You know, since Quinny, then the crash. Life gets on top of him. You're the best thing that's ever happened, and I'm so frightened you'll abandon him. Finally, Ricky Atten. What's she doing here? I thought you'd have told her. Sean's me mate, he supported me. He just stood there like a muppet. Well, what else could he do? She was dragged from her chair and he did nothing. She could have been killed. Half an hour later, he's in the rovers knocking back brandy. Because he was in shock. And I don't need you here stressing her out, OK? She's been attacked. She didn't want to be going through it over and over again. I I'm absolutely fine. No, I'm going to crash out because I'm done in. But when I get up, I want her gone. No, I can't take you. Sorry about before. No, well, she's gone now. But you really upset her. I'll call her in a bit. What's going on, Gary? Where's my chair? It won't be ready for a day or two. They said that the electrics were knackered. No, they weren't. That's what they said. Well, did they offer you a replacement? Nope. I haven't got a spur. No, you'll be all right. You'll be staying off work anyway. Why would I? After what you've been through. 
Why didn't they offer you a replacement? Oh, I don't know. Does it matter? Look, you're staying at home. We can manage. It's just for a few days. Now, is that it? Because I'm nipping out for some food shopping. Miss Hiya, it's uh, Izzy Armstrong. My boyfriend brought me chair in this morning, only there seems to be a bit of confusion. He said the electrics are gone and it'll take a few days. Oh, I must have got the wrong end of the stick. No problem. Right, thanks. Cheers. Bye. Where is it? Where's what? I've spoken to the wheelchair shop. What'd you have to go and do that for? I told you how long it'd take. And you lied! I'm making you an omelette for tea. Garrett, I don't want an omelette. First you attacked Sean, and now you're hiding my chair from me! Get it back soon! No, no! I didn't need to call the wheelchair shop. You shouldn't have let Mum in, and she shouldn't have told you about Sean. We don't need anybody else. You're safe here with me. So all this is about? Oh, what are you doing? Who are you calling now? Calling me, Dad. No, you're not calling anybody. Give me that. No. I said give me that. What is happening to you? This is the only place that you're safe, OK? I'll protect you. Not Sean, not your dad. Me. I don't need anyone to protect me. I can take care of myself. Like you did when you went to town, you mean? Well, that can happen to anyone. But it happened to you. And it wouldn't have if I'd been there. Maybe not, but you can't wrap me up in cotton wool. Life's full of risk carrying away. That's what makes it exciting. So you enjoyed getting mugged, yeah? No, but... It's the world we live in. You have to accept that, otherwise you'd never set foot outside the front door. I just want what's best for you. Yeah, and it'll be great for us to spend some time together, just me and you. You want that, don't you? Of course I do. Just not because I need protecting. And we'll have a great time, yeah? We've got plenty of beers in the fridge. A pizza in the freezer if you really don't want omelette. We've got everything we need. Right here. How's your pizza? Good, yeah. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Who first thought about putting ham and pineapple together? I mean, it's mad, isn't it, but it works. I suppose it does. So, what are we going to do tomorrow? Well, you've got to take it easy. I know, but if we're going to spend more time together, I don't want to be dependent on you. It's what I'm here for. It's no bother. But it is to me, Gary. I need my wheelchair. I can't stand not being able to do things myself. I hate it. OK, I'll bring it in tomorrow. It's all the same. I'd rather you brought it in tonight. No, it'll be safe in the van than anywhere. You don't need to be going anywhere. Gary! It's for your own good. I've told you. You need to rest. But I'm fine. No. No, you just think you're fine. When you've been through a trauma, the worst thing that you can do is rush your recovery. I should know that better than anybody. Now, do you want another beer? Hey, maybe it's a bad time. Bad time? A bad time to be disturbed, like the blinds are down. Oh, you mean they might be? Yeah. <laughs> We won't be long. Just want to make sure she's all right. Why wouldn't she be? She's with Gary. Yeah, I know, but. Ah, <sighs> me. We're not disturbing you. Yeah? What do you want? Um, just come to check on Izzy. People have been asking after her. She's fine. Great. I was hoping we could have a chat with her. You can't. She's uh, she's asleep. Unless all that knocking's woken her up. Sorry, mate. Well. Can we come in and wait till she... She just needs to rest. OK, she'll call when she wants visitors. How many times it was nobody? I heard a voice. I know my own sister. All I want to do is keep you safe. Why are you making it so hard for me? But this isn't safe. I don't feel safe. But I would never do anything to harm you. This is harming me. It's harming both of us. Please, Gary, just stop this now and lock the door and get me the chair. I can't do that. You don't understand what it's like out there. Not everyone's like you. They're not all good. And if they think you're weak, they'll hurt you. Wherever they can, whenever they can. That's not true. It is. It is, I know, because I've seen it. I see it every night. My best friend's blood running through my hands like water. Over and over. And every time there's more and more until I'm drowning in it. Oh, 
Gary. And that's what they want to do to you, don't you see, babe? But I'm not going to let it happen. Not this time, because I'm prepared. Stop this, please! I've got good sight lines out this window, babe, so don't be worrying. We'll be fine here. I'm not going to let you down. And I'm not going to lose you. Gary, you're not going to lose me and you've never let me down, same as I've never let you down, So you want to stay with me, yeah? Of course I do, but not like that. Good, because I've been thinking. I need to be with you. I need to be with you all the time. So it kind of makes sense for us to get married. What do you reckon? I'm looking for you. Well, now you found me, so what's going on? Well, it's probably nothing. I'll be the judge of that, mate. We've just been round to his ears. Is she alright? Well, I don't know. Gary won't let us in. He said as he was sleeping. Yeah, but he wouldn't let us wait. I know we can be a bit hyper at times, but we're acting dead weird. I'm worried, Dad. Everything's not an ideal situation. It's the perfect situation. I'm here. You're here and nobody else. It's all I want. It's all we need. Gary, we have lives outside of each other, as does every other couple. Don't mean they love each other any less. And I know it's not much of a name I'd be giving you, Windass. Are you listening to me? The kids would get so much aggro for it at school, but, you know, it'll toughen them up. It did me. And I could get all the lads to come to our wedding in their dress uniform. Do as a guard of honour. Gary, please listen to me. How are we supposed to get married if we're locked up in here? I mean, where are we going to go on our honeymoon? Spare bedroom? Oh, I'll think of something. But the main thing is, is that once we're married, we can be together forever. I can take proper care of you. You can answer that. Shh. Gary, people are worried about me. They're going to keep coming. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to move out tomorrow. In the wagon. Go somewhere they can't find us. Please, you don't have to know any of this. Just let him in now, and then we can sort things out later, yeah? Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you. What? We're too exposed. We've got to find cover. You... Come on. Let go of We've got to go now. We've got to go now. Izzy! Izzy, where are you? You are right, love. Is he doing anything? No. No, I'm fine. It's Gary. It's all right, lad. School in, leave us alone. I, I won't let you hurt. I, I'd never do that, mate. You know that. I care about Izzy as well, yeah? So we're on the same side. I'm warning you, you stay away. You can't do that. I'm your friend, Dan. I'm here to help you, Gary. All right? You just have to trust me, Gary. trying to work it out where it all went wrong. You mustn't blame yourself. Gary used to be such a nice lad, a normal lad. He's the one with demons, love, not you. I feel so bad about it all. What are you going to do today? I don't know. You're going to work? I don't know if I can face it. <laughs> I hope people work with me would throw a sickie for far less than this. But on the other hand, actually, I'm not ill. After what he did, you're traumatised. I don't know if I can face sitting here on my own all day. Well, I could throw a sickie in for you, love. Sit with you. Don't be daft. <sighs> if I come back bad time, I can always come back. No, no, it's fine. How are you, sweetheart? Fine, yeah. I take it Gary's, haven't you? It did, yeah, but I haven't come to plead his case. I've just come to pick up some clothes. How is he? Mortified. How about you? <laughs> no. Still in shock as boss. Come here. I got 
got you a pair of jeans, a couple of t-shirts and some pants. You see Izzy? Yeah, I saw Izzy. How was she? She was okay, considering. And, um, did, did, did she ask about me, or...? She did, yeah, but we didn't talk about anything in any detail. That's for you and her to do. So she wants to see me? Not straight away, no. And how did she seem? Was she angry, or...? I'd say she seemed more upset and sad. <sighs> what have I done, ma'am? What have I done? Why don't you have a nice bath and put some clean clothes on? I just feel like I'm cracking up. I need help. I'm going to get you some help now. You were in the army, weren't you? Yeah. I've only been back six months, so I'm fit as a flea. Remind me where you served? Afghanistan. Breathe in. Well, you seem okay physically. I gather there was an incident at your girlfriend's place last night. Yeah. I lost my temper. I shouldn't have. Do you often lose your temper? No, never. It was a one-off. Do you often try and stop your girlfriend from leaving her own home? Look, I don't know what to say. Okay? I really regret what happened. I'm going to refer you to a psychologist for an assessment. What? We need to find out if there are any underlying psychological problems. I don't like the sound of that. Well, do you have an explanation for what happened? Uh, you'll hear from the mental health team in due course. Don't start worrying about shrinks and loony bins, Gary. Lots and lots of people suffer from mental health issues. Hi. Hey. I thought me and you should put our heads together. We couldn't really talk earlier, could we? No, come in. Mm. Hiya, mate. Look, I'm really sorry about what happened. Well, I'm glad to hear it. We've had the doctor around. He thinks Gary needs a psychological assessment, but Gary's not so keen on going. You are? I honestly don't think I'm mentally ill. Sir, I don't take kindly to people scaring the life out of my daughter. I know, and I'm sorry. OK, I've said I'm sorry. Anybody else would have been hospitalised by now. All right. You. Luckily for you, I happen to believe that you're a good lad, deep down. And that you need help, but you have to meet me halfway, Gary. Because if you don't, mate, I'm going to look at you in a completely different light. You got that? I'll get it. Go on, I'll let you in. Tomorrow. I'll definitely play tomorrow. Oh. It's Izzy. Come in. Hiya. Am I disturbing you? No, no. Only I think we need to talk. Yeah, of course. Do you want to go to the pub or...? I'm, I'm fine here. Yeah, uh, come on, Faye, it's time for your bed. Oh. Hey. Well, thanks for coming. You haven't heard what I've come to say. You're dumping me. I haven't made any decisions about the future, Gary. So there's hope? That depends on you. Right. I've been doing a lot of thinking. And I am really, really sorry for what I did. Especially that stupid proposal. I know. And I promise you. I'll sort myself out. I heard the doctor came today. I need help. I know that now. Is it true he suggested you have a psychological assessment? Who told you that, your dad? So this behaviour is normal? No, but... You locked me up! I was terrified! I love you, Gary, but I don't know if I can live with you anymore. So here's the deal. I think we need a bit of time apart. Yeah. I'm not abandoning you and I'm not saying we won't get back together but I need space, you need help if you don't do what that doctor says then that's it I'll do it I'll do whatever you ask me to as long as I know that I've still got a chance that's all I can say